Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve word problems on geometric series, and this is the second part. Before we go over this example right here, let's have a review on the important formulas related to geometric series and geometric sequence. We remember that the nth term of a geometric sequence is represented in an equation t of n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. Or this t of n can also be represented as a sub n. So other textbooks are using t of n. Others are using a sub n. They're pretty much the same thing. They're just variables. It can also be, again, represented as a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. One. We remember that our t of n and the a sub n represents the nth term of the sequence, while our a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and our r is the common ratio. The second formula will be used to determine the sum of the first n terms of geometric series. This is represented as s sub n is equal to a sub 1, parenthesis 1 minus r raised to the power n over 1 minus r, where our s sub n represents the sum of the first n terms, a sub 1 represents the first term, r represents the common ratio, and n represents the number of terms. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over the problem here. You save 10 cents for the first day of a month, 20 cents the second day, 40 cents the third day, continuing to double your savings each day. What will your savings be for the first 10 days? And what will your savings be for the first 20 days? So that this problem would make sense, we're gonna write it out. So on the first day, we are actually putting in uh, 10 cents. So that is represented as 0 0.10. And then on the second day, so it's it shall be added. It's going to be a plus because we're actually saving. So on the first day, you put in um, 10 cents to your um, account. And then on the second day, you are putting, it says here, 20 cents. So that would be 0 0.20. And then on the third day, it says that you are putting in um, 40 cents. So that's going to be plus 0 0.20. It says here that we double the savings each day, which means that we are actually multiplying this by 2 each time. So we have 0 0.10 times 2 is 0 0.20. 0 0.20 times 2 would be 0 0.40. And so this pattern repeats. That's what it says. So we can just go ahead and say that's a plus and then three dots after that. So it's going to continue. So the thing here is that what will be your savings for the first 10 days? So if we continue, this is only for the first three days. So this means that on the fourth day, you're going to put in um, 0 0.40 times 2 is 0 0.80. So you're going to put in 80 cents to the account. And then on the fifth day, uh, 80 cents multiplied by 2 would be 1.6 or a dollar and 60 cents and so on. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this kind of problem here. The first step is to write the given. So in this problem right here, we can go ahead and write our um, given variables for this. So the first one that we see here is 0 0.10. This is actually our A sub 1 or this is the first term. So I can go ahead and label that as a sub 1 is 0 0.10. And then we also have our common ratio, the one that we multiply each time, which is 2. So a common ratio is represented as letter R, which is 2. So then we go ahead and solve for the uh, savings for the first 10 days. So this is how it's going to look like. We are actually looking for the sum of this geometric series. Again, this is a geometric series because we are multiplying the uh, first value with a constant number 2. So 0.10 times 2 is 0 0.20. 0 0.20 times 2 is 0 0.40. So this is a geometric series since we are multiplying, since there is a common ratio. So we are going to solve for the savings for the first 10 days. I'm just going to write that down here. 
Okay, since we say that uh, the first 10 days, that means that if we continue to do this up to 10 blanks, so that's the first day, second day, third day, if we continue all the way up to 10, we can therefore say that our N is actually 10. So we represent our N as um, 10. So we go ahead and write the formula for the sum of geometric series, which is... Okay, now the second step is to plug in the given values into the formula and solve for the missing variable. So our missing variable is S sub 10. So that means that is the sum of the, or I mean the sum of the savings um, in 10 days or in the first 10 days. So we go ahead and plug the values in. So our A sub 1 is 0 0.10. And then we have a 1 minus our uh, common ratio is Two, that is raised to the power n, which is 10, because that's the first 10 days. And then we are going to divide that by 1 minus the r is 2. So we go ahead and use the calculator to determine the um, value for this. So you will see on the side how we set up the um, how we set up this notation right here on a calculator. So we're gonna type in 0 0.10 and then parentheses. 1 minus 2, and then we put the arrow up for the exponent, and we put in 10, and then we hit equals, and then divided by 1 minus 2, we put this in parentheses, and so the answer that we got here is 102.30, which means that our savings on the first 10 days of putting in using this pattern right here, would be um, $102.30. So this is the savings for the first 10 days. We can also use the TI-84 to evaluate this part of the equation right here. As you can see, the answer is still the same, 102.30. Or you can also use Desmos to um, set this up. As you can see, the answer is still the same. Um, the savings for the first 10 days is $102.30. Now we are going to move on to the next question that we have right here. It says that we are supposed to determine the savings for the first 20 days. So I'm just going to write that up here. Okay, so what I did here was uh, I just plug in the value for n, which is 20, and it came out to be um, the savings after 20 days would be 104,857 and 50 cents. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.